Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, AMD has just dropped a huge bomb. They've announced that the Radeon RX Vega reveal is just around the corner, and that it will come in a 4GB and 8GB version. Now, as usual, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can click on the article for yourself. Now, AMD just hosted its tech summit in China, and the CEO Lisa Su took to the stage to not only announce the worldwide availability of its Ryzen 5 CPU, and for those of you that don't know, that's April 11th, but they also teased a full Radeon RX Vega reveal, saying it was coming very, very soon. Now, from the sounds of things, at AMD, it's ramping up to reveal the Radeon RX Vega within a matter of weeks. Now, I have to say, um, I'm excited about this. It's it's excellent. Now, after Lisa Su said that about the Ryzen CPU, Scott, I believe his name is Herkman, he's a VP of AMD, he came on stage and confirmed that the Radeon RX Vega flagship will be available in two different variants, a 4GB and an 8GB variant. And he said that they will both feature the second generation HBM2 memory, offering an improved memory bandwidth and greater power efficiency over the first HBM used in the Fury chips. Now this means that the Radeon RX Vega graphics card will be very, very fast and it will be much smaller than the Polaris that we saw last year, so the RX 480s. Now a lot of people saying, oh, 4 gigabytes of HBM memory is not too much. Actually it's a very compressed memory. Um, if, if I had to uh, compare it to like say uh, GDR5X, it would be the equivalent of about 11 gigabytes of GDR5X, 4 gigabytes of HBM2. Now you're also gonna have the HBM2, I'm sorry, eight variant of the HBM2. Now one thing that AMD has been very clear on is that the memory utilization in Vega is much superior to any generation before. Now they were saying that, you know, for example, an eight gigabyte card usually only uses about three gigabytes of the memory that's available to it, and that with Vega, it would utilize all of it. Now, if we put into the uh, account here that it's gonna be using HBM2 with the uh, memory bandwidth and, and the size of these stacks, uh, the things that developers are going to be able to do is going to be incredible indeed. Now I have to say, it looks like Vega is going to be coming out in May, and the reason why we say this is that the RX Vega has been um, kind of adver uh, um, advertised beside Prey, and the ad says that Vega is coming, be prepared. Now we know Prey comes out May 5th, so we would think that probably the card is going to be coming out, obviously, I would say late April, early May. Now with these reveals that AMD does with their cards, usually the cards come out within a week to two weeks of them being announced. So I would really look for this card to be coming out in May. Now I have to say, another thing that makes me excited about this is that now, once we get this um, announcement from AMD out of the way on Vega, we will be able to hear all the news and details about Project Scorpio. Now it's been rumored that Project Scorpio is running the Vega architecture and that it's ride, um, also riding, uh, sorry, it's also using a Ryzen CPU. Now it's been quite rumored that it's going to be a Ryzen 5 CPU that is custom. So I think it's going to be a Ryzen 5 that's using um, eight, eight cores and say eight threads or maybe eight cores and 12 threads. I don't think they need to go overkill on it. I think an eight core, eight thread Ryzen CPU will be great inside the Xbox Scorpio and will allow for 60 frames per second on most games to be achieved depending on the resolution set by the um, developers of the game. But anyways, like I was saying, with the information of Vega out on the table, that frees up Microsoft to go ahead and of course talk about the Xbox Scorpio. So I'm quite excited as we're getting up to E3 and as we're approaching the reveal of the Radeon Vega chip, which is supposed to be very powerful because all the leaked benchmarks that have come out so far put it above the GTX 1080. So I, I, I just wanna see what this Vega entails. We've been teased about this for so long, for so many months. We've been going on about speculation about what this uh, GPU will mean for us gamers out here. And finally, the reveal is around the corner. So I wanna know what you guys think. So please leave your comments down below. Do you think this is gonna be priced expensive? Do you think it's gonna be cheaper price? Do you, were you waiting for this announcement so you could get a RX 480 for really cheap? Sound off down below. I ask guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.